president and founder of the World Skin Project. We're a nonprofit 501c3 organization dedicated to reducing the occurrence of skin cancer and melanoma through education and awareness. I'm here at Oakworks today, and I'm here to talk to you about some numbers and letters. The first number I'm going to talk to you about is 120,000. There are 120,000 of us massage therapists here in the United States. Every year there are 2 million cases of skin cancer diagnosed. That accounts for half of all cancer cases diagnosed in the United States of America. Every year there are 80 million chances for us to be the first line of defense against skin cancer because there are 80 million massages performed by us here each year. There are three different types of skin cancer and in order to follow along and see pictures and have more informative information about skin cancer, I encourage you to visit the AAD.org while I talk about the three types of skin cancer. That's the American Academy of Dermatology.org. Um, the first type of skin cancer is basal cell carcinoma. And basal cell carcinoma is the most common form of skin cancer. It's the kind you see on your skin. You think it's just uh, an uncommon mole. Um, it's commonly found on the arms, the neck, the head. It can be anywhere on the body, though. And a lot of people say it's just skin cancer, it's no big deal, I can have it removed. What most people don't understand is, is that although it's not commonly fatal, it can be very, very disfiguring because basal cell carcinoma can actually spread through your skin and destroy your skin tissue. It doesn't spread into your lymph node or to other organs like the other cancers do, but it can be very, very disfiguring to your skin. Even having a biopsy to have a mole removed can be disfiguring to your skin. Um, the second form of skin cancer is squamous cell carcinoma, and you're going to see that that's a scaly, bumpy, red, almost a volcanic looking skin condition. It's commonly found on the ears, the nose, the face, and sun exposed areas of the skin. Squamous cell carcinoma can actually be deadly, and again, for more pictures, make sure you're on the AAD.org website. The third type of cancer I want to talk, skin cancer I'm going to talk to you about is melanoma. Melanoma is what I have and melanoma comes in all shapes and sizes and forms and stages. Um, there are five things to look for and they're A, B, C, D, E's of melanoma. The A stands for asymmetry. If you see something on your skin or a client's skin that's not completely even, if it has one side looks different than the other, it's asymmetrical and it's something that should be seen by a dermatologist. The B is border irregularity. If you see, I like to tell people if you see a mole or a skin patch on someone's skin that looks like a state, one of the United States, it's probably something that has irregular borders, it's not even, it's not perfectly round, and it should be seen by a dermatologist. The C is color variance. If one side of a mole or one side of a piece of skin tissue doesn't look like the other side, if one side is brown and the other side is dark brown, or if one side is pink and the other side is black, make sure you refer your client, or if you see it on your skin yourself, see a dermatologist. The D is diameter, and a great rule of thumb is that if the skin looks, if the, the lesion on the skin looks larger than a pencil eraser, it's something that should be seen by a dermatologist. And the E is evolution. If anything on your skin is changing, if you see something changing from small to large, changing color, changing borders, changing diameter, it's really something that needs to be seen by a dermatologist. And it doesn't need to be all A, B, C, Ds, and Es to qualify for something that needs to be seen. It just needs to be one of those. One thing about melanoma is that it's important to remember that melanoma doesn't discriminate. I've been telling people a story lately about how Bob Marley died of malignant melanoma. It was acrolytigenous malignant melanoma, and it's a very rare form of melanoma, but it's how he died at 36 years old. It took his life. Um, another thing, too, is on the World Skin Project, Org, you can find a story about a Marine who was misdiagnosed with melanoma. He's Puerto Rican. He ended up losing his life to melanoma also. Here's where you come in as a massage therapist. The good news is that if detected early, melanoma has almost a 100% cure rate. Um, if it's detected late, later in the stage, and somebody is uh, diagnosed in a stage 3 or 4, there's less than a 5% survival chance for more than 5 to 10 years. Important things to remember when you're giving a massage and you see somebody with a skin lesion. First is don't panic. Don't leave the room. Don't ever leave your client on the table. 
um, to run out to check the American Academy of Dermatology website or to go out and ask somebody to come back into the room and for a second opinion. Stay in the room with your client, finish your massage, and address it with your client later. For more information about the World Skin Project and what we do, visit us on theworldskinproject.org. Here you can find our upcoming workshops, our live workshops that are very interactive and they're available for four continuing education credits to massage therapists. They're also open to the public. And if you're not able to attend one of our live workshops, you can check out educationaltrainingsolutions.com. They have worked really hard to put our entire four-hour curriculum online for you. So you can go ahead and take the class right online. I want to thank Oakworks for allowing us to do this, and I want to thank Oakworks especially for continuing to support the World Skin Project and keeping us going. It's really important partnership that we have with Oakworks, and again, Oakworks, thank you so much for everything you've done for us. And again, I'm Annie, and I do this because I'm living with malignant melanoma. I'm a licensed massage therapist, and a massage therapy instructor found a stage three tumor in my back when I was in massage therapy school 10 years ago. And you, if you would like to email me personally or if you want any more information from me, you can contact me. I'm Annie at theworldskinproject.org and I will personally respond to your emails.